Hello everyone, thank you for the opportunity to present our final go-to-market strategy and propose you the idea of how Nextland can reach 10% of the Italian agricultural market by 2022 using the Innovation Value Creation Wheel Framework when our client is public authorities. Before we jump to the strategy, let me introduce you our international hardworking team of experts who created the strategy, Bianca, Danielle, Jan, Sarah and myself, Petra. Our presentation will follow the structure of the Innovation Value Creation Wheel Framework, so you will be able to follow the process of how we came up with the final recommendation. Men are always dreaming about having multiple women at the same time, one who is hardworking, one who is pretty, and one who is the queen of the kitchen. Since it takes so much time and money to maintain all these relationships, usually the winner and eventually the wife is the best deal, where all the previously mentioned characteristics are met. Ladies and gentlemen, your next best deal is the next app by which your company will be able to reach 10% of the Italian agriculture market by 2022. This app is a full service solution where farmers will be able to finally receive the satellite data services they can educate themselves about sustainability practices, and finally, they will be able to apply for public funds, which at the moment could take up to years. Imagine a system where everything can be done in minutes, and how much money will you, as public authority, save by introducing this app? Don't forget that the future is just one click away if you choose our product. Related to the first step of our project, the phase one, we have the goal to define the internal and external issues to gain a better understanding of the market and the product. We explored the different needs of the farmers, however, we concluded that they need satellite data technology but they don't know how to use it. On average, farmers are middle aged, therefore an educational approach for them is necessary. On the other hand, public authorities are struggling with long administrative process and personal checkups. They always gather the data to generate reports but it's time and money consuming. Meanwhile, on the market, digitalization started and there is a high demand on clear benefit to implement the newest technologies. Considering this information, we understood that we needed to come up with a solution that would fulfill the different needs of the players. To obtain this idea that would solve the different needs of the players, it would be necessary to combine a solution that permitted to educate the farmers, provide technology service and would be able to collect and report data. In phase 2, it was now essential to induce some ideas and filters related to the logic described previously. Considering this, we created 18 ideas and 16 filters. After choosing these two criteria, we proceeded with the selection. We started by analyzing the different ideas using the tools of the poker method. We decided to keep 10 of the 18 ideas that were also evaluated and confirmed by Nuno Grosso, one of our key decision makers from Demos. Based on his feedback, all ideas regarding farmers' education were approved, so therefore, we proceeded with them. Uh, now regarding the selection of the filters, we also used the Pokemon method, ending up with a ranking of 12 filters. We divided the filters according to the market and idea-related filters, as we need a different criteria system to evaluate our solutions and also to decide where to implement our ideas. Some of the filters were used and adapted for both principles. You can see on the slide that mainly the most important ones for the market filters were feasibility, bureaucracy and competition, and the idea-related filters were mostly related to the profitability, feasibility and capital requirement. After this selection, it was now crucial to identify the best market. We proceeded by using the funnel method, applying our market ranked filters to create a market segmentation. It was possible to recognize that Western Europe was a more practical and prosperous area, and due to this fact, our research was based in these countries. We identified that Italy has the best potential market for Nextland service since this country respected all the requirements. Following this process, we also applied the filters to select the best idea, in which we obtained five final ideas. The number two, streamlining the process of obtaining the data and transferring the information to farmers through an application. Number three, create packages for public authorities based on what they specifically need. The number four, Focus more effort on the process of educating farmers, agronomy, companies and public authorities about the data. Number five, organize workshops, conferences and events online. And number nine, help farmers to follow existing regulation in agriculture. Additionally, 
We understood that all these ideas could be merged in one big solution that we identified as being educating farmers to achieve bigger and more sustainable productions, where farmers and public authorities will be able to plan, monitor and analyze all the activities in one single platform to address funding needs. During phase four, we acquired some valuable insights from our experts regarding the selected market. Our experts identified three major aspects that were essential to be considered. The first one is the need for education. Since most of the farmers have a low awareness of satellite agriculture and its benefits, it would be necessary to educate farmers in an easy way on how to use satellite data. The second one is the need of efficiency. Because most of the current tactics of agriculture in public authorities to allocate funds require a long period of time and have several steps. And lastly, the third one is related to the fire hazard, since one of the biggest issues that Italian agriculture is facing is the high risk of fire. Finally, in this slide, we are going to present our major concept behind the application of this new app. We are going to explain how it can solve the different needs of the players, how the different stakeholders are connected, and the different service that Nextland will provide with this new app. As you can see, from this graph, we have the farmers, the public authorities, Nextland, and the app, named as Next App. This app would give the opportunity to entirely switch the fund allocation process from physical to digital. Farmers could use the photos provided by the satellite data to indicate the size of the file of deer crops, and thanks to Next App, this method would have less bureaucratic and administrative formalities, being faster and more effective. This process would provide an easy way of public authorities to allocate the funds and at the same gather all the data from the farmers that would be collected in the app. The education section would be made by Nextland and through the app. Nextland will teach the farmers on how to use the app and how to complete the application process to receive funds. Nextland, in this case the expertise, would also educate the farmers on how to use satellite data to increase the productivity of deer crops and they will learn while using the app. The app would similarly provide a support system to help the farmers with their doubts, such as the opportunity to talk to an expert by phone. Additionally, Nextland will create a partnership with Confa Agricultura to allow farmers to keep pace with new sustainable practice. Confa Agricultura is a platform that would be integrated within our app by having direct access. Nextland would similarly use sensors on the satellites that could measure the temperature of the Earth's surfaces to detect and monitor the heat emitted by fires. The app would send an alert to public authorities and to nearest fire station. This would offer a valuable insurance tool for both farmers and public authorities to protect the local territory. Nextland would also be continuously in touch with public authorities to receive feedback on the app and see possible adjustments to make. Next app and Nextland, by providing all these facilities, would be able to fulfill the different needs and gaps that currently exist between the public authorities and the farmers. In this slide, you can visualize how we would look our prototype for farmers' users. As our key partners are public authorities, we concluded that organizing lobby activities, such as conference, personal meetings, and using different PR tools are the best way to get in contact with our clients. Within the next year, we would focus on direct meeting, personal selling, with the highest relevance, as based on our industry expert interviews, these are the most effective ways to contact public authorities to introduce Next App. In the last part of our presentation, we would focus on the business model and its details. On the top left corner, you can see our simplified business model graph, and we will go through each relationship and explain how stakeholders are connected. As mentioned before, Nextland should contact the regional departments in Italy by using different lobby means. The value proposition is that the product provides an integrated platform that would save time and money for public authorities, as everything would be in one platform. The price would be approximately 360,000 euros that would cover the app setup cost. The value proposition for farmers is that this would be the only way where they can apply for public funds, therefore the usage of the app would be free of charge. By applying online to the funds, it would significantly reduce the application process and would save time for both farmers and public authorities.
Moreover, farmers would be able to educate themselves about satellite data services and sustainability practices besides the fund application. This way, next app would be the ultimate platform for their daily lives. To successfully support the app implementation, as Nextland, we are advising to hire additional people to maintain the application and be available for farmers if they need any technical help with the application. We understand that technical difficulties of implementing such an integrated platform would be challenging for farmers, therefore we are strongly advising Nextland to pay attention to hiring additional staff. By forming a partnership with Confra Agricultura, farmers can further educate themselves not just about satellite data services, but sustainable best practices. According to our business model, we would allocate around 65% of our budget for paying the salaries of the marketing force and additional 14% for PR activities. On the right side, you can see what are the most important measures we would take to track our product. The main focus here is on the time and money saved and the app usage related KPIs. We strongly believe that our full service solution will revolutionize the Italian market. It provides real value and combines all functions at one place. By now, you shouldn't have a doubt which one to choose. We would say yes to eternal love and vote for next app. Thank you for your attention and we are waiting for your questions.